The team at Congatech is passionate about embedded computing, and our founders have been in the industry for decades. In the 90s, they pioneered not only the idea of using modules for x86-based products, but the idea to make these products based on open standards. Over the years, the company continued its leadership role, innovating new standards, and working together with competitors to meet the increasing needs of the embedded industry. Today, as multi-core processors are common, the use of multiple OSs in a product, microsecond real-time performance, increasing connectivity and security, and all this with the goal of further reducing system costs, this speaks to the need of a real-time hypervisor. So Real-Time Systems was founded by a team of software engineers working in the industrial automation industries. As these industries moved from microcontroller-based solutions to x86 platforms, we were working on software solutions that were an extension of Windows. These products provided a lot of benefits, but at the same time there were many limitations. And so we knew that eventually there would be much more required from a software. In 2006, the first dual-core processors were introduced in embedded designs, and now we already see 16 cores on an embedded module. Only software, or actually a hypervisor, makes it possible to use parallel processing by running multiple operating systems independently on a single platform. This approach can be used to consolidate an HMI and a machine controller, but at the same time it could also go as far as FOX servers, where databases, real-time workloads, running a gateway or cloud connectivity, and all of that on one single platform. So the industry continued to increase its adoption of x86. Real-time requirements in combination with multi-OS platforms. We knew existing solutions would run out of gas. We knew the time was up for something different. And this is when we decided to create real-time systems. And we decided to create a real-time hypervisor designed specifically for x86 exactly to meet the needs for embedded and industrial markets. We worked with real-time systems for years, and I was hearing more and more from customers about the great performance of the product and the company. So I decided to approach Garrett with a new vision. What if Congatech and real-time systems joined forces to make the RTS hypervisor the standard in the embedded industry, similar to the way Congatech has been a driving force in hardware standards? Honestly, when Jason approached me, I wasn't thinking of selling the company. But the idea of the RTS hypervisor becoming the de facto standard in the industry has always been our goal. When Jason described his vision of RTS becoming a wholly owned subsidiary and RTS continuing to selling our software to run on any x86 from any company, but now with the worldwide resources of Congatech, well, this gave me something to think about. <laughs> in the end, we realized we were aligned in our vision of the future. Hardware complexity will continue to increase, and a hypervisor is needed to maximize performance while lowering system costs. Together, we are best positioned to deliver hardware and software solutions that deliver real-time performance in products that are connected and secure to the embedded industry and with this, we are really excited about the future with real-time systems as a member of the Congatech family. Thank you, Jason. Thank you.